and measuring expert Steve Schickel is here to show me how it works. So am I overstating it to say that this is a kind of modernised version of what Homer Eaton came up with. The principles of this are exactly the same. Every single axis that moves, we have an encoder. And ultimately, what we're doing is calculating the XYZ centre of this probe tip. So where it's jointed in each of these bits where it hinges, that's where there's something measuring exactly where it's... That's right. So how do you then use it? It's like pointing your finger, so you take it to the, to the surface, I just put it on the surface, push your button, and I get an XYZ coordinate. So it's as simple as that. Even making an accurate computer model of a small shape like this takes at least 2,000 coordinates. Uh, Steve, this suddenly looks faintly sinister. What is it? What we have here is a, a scanning CAD. Can you demonstrate? Would you like to take a seat? I did, I, you know, I saw the seat <laughs> and thought, yeah, go on, all right, I'll okay. take a seat, yes. So You're going to scan my face with that. Exactly. OK, <laughs> um, begin. It's like visiting a very futuristic dentist. <laughs> As Steve scans the laser over me, it measures the distance to my face. At the same time, the tracker unit, that's the thing that looks like a slightly sinister robot, is measuring the position of the laser using rotary encoders. All the information is processed by a computer to produce exact X, Y, Z coordinates. OK, Richard, you can now open your eyes. You're done? I'm done. Right, so where is it now? Where's all that data? Yeah. Hopefully you can recognise the person that's on the screen. It's, it's disappointing. Is, is this machine very accurate? It certainly is. Oh, God. We're getting down to about 30 microns, which is half the thickness of a strand of hair. So that's all stored now in this computer as data? That's right. If you actually look on the screen, we'll just show this as points. Each one of those is a single XYZ coordinate. 